Okay, look, okay. Healthy Lonzo? I'm no hesitation. I'm picking him over Halliburton. I'm not even joking. I'm not You're even joking. Wild, I'm not even dude. joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm about to leave, yeah. I ain't make it to the league, yeah. I'm the best cap secret. I need a, I need a, I need a eat, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of the Heat Check Podcast. We are your co-hosts, Nick, Brandon, and Vijed. This is the first episode, so we're excited to finally get things started off with the NBA season right around the corner. And today, our topic is going to be the off-season. This most recent NBA off-season, a lot of things happen. A lot of moves shifted the NBA, and we had the Olympics going on. USA obviously taking gold. We're going to touch on all those things, and the Celtics winning the championship, the Dallas run, the Dallas Mavs run all the way from not really even being considered title contenders to making it all the way to the finals. We're all going to touch on things like that. So first, though, we're going to introduce myself. My name is Nick. Um, These are my co-hosts, Brandon Vijed. Tell us a little about yourself. Uh, we'll have Brandon go first. What up, guys? I'm Brandon. Um, pretty big basketball fan. Uh, I feel like um, mostly, like, yeah, I, I love uh, the stats, which is kind of weird. Like, I'm pretty good with, I don't know, knowing people's stats. And I watch a lot of highlights on YouTube. So Jeez. that's my recap. And... uh Let's go with what's your, who's your favorite player currently? Uh, right now, uh, I got to be LeBron James himself. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> That's an awesome, amazing, yeah. amazing player. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, VJ, go ahead. You're next. All right. Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm a big Laker fan. Um, I guess... Yeah, I've been. I was watching a lot of NBA. I haven't been watching a lot now, so it's gonna be kind of interesting to talk to and getting your guys' perspectives on all the new players and all that. But uh, favorite player currently, I mean, it's gotta be the goat Curry, bro. It's gotta be the oh, goat Curry. Curry. Um, I don't. And then, uh, yeah, I guess favorite new player though. If I had to pick one new player. Probably Bronny. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god! All right, Nick. What, All what right. About you? Who's your favorite player? Nick? Who's your Who's uh, your favorite player right now? All right. So my name's Nick. Uh, by the way, we all met through uh, college, pretty much uh, mutual friends. College. We all went to Cal Poly Pomona. Um, so I am a big Laker fan. All three of us are. Um, my favorite player would have to be currently Holly Burton. Um, yeah. He's really cool. You know, very underrated. I think he's better than Curry, at least fantasy wise. But uh you know. You know. Here we go. Here we go. So my favorite player all all time, probably same as yours, Kobe Bryant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For yep. sure, for sure. As you can tell, we're all diehard Laker fans, so even though this is gonna be a all around basketball podcast you'll hear us talk a lot about the lakers and how miserable they make us so yeah um basically (laughs) (laughs) oh and like up and coming players i like jalen green you know pinoy pride we're all filipinos Uh, by the way if you can't tell so yeah he breaks a lot he does he's a volume shooter he loves he loves to let it fly he's definitely volume so a lot of things that we're going to uh, talk about on this podcast is going to include we have a fantasy league going so that's going to be a big topic of discussion throughout this uh, season uh we're going to talk about you know nba big news big trades what happens throughout the weeks you know all the updates all the recent events we're going to talk on that and also we're going to be giving our hot takes like um vj being tatum's number one fan and uh, things like that. <laughs> Cold take. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were a Clipper fan. Jeez. I heard they were calling Let's you for show. tickets, season tickets. Yeah, it's, I, thought, I think you're show, like, bro. didn't you say you wanted to go to the, the uh, Clipper game this year? See the wall? The Great Wall. 
quick show. <laughs> So yeah, so like let's first touch on the uh, Dallas Mavericks run and then the Celtics winning the championship with a cakewalk path. Let's all be honest here. They played injured team after injured team. Who did they play the first round? It was uh, Bucks, right? Or am I remembering? Uh, wrong? Let's see. No, it wasn't Bucks. Yeah, I think so. It was I think Philly. So, yeah, but like no Giannis, right? It was like something like I think that. no Giannis and Dame got injured. Yeah, and Dame got hurt too. Yeah, yeah, Giannis was not playing. I mean, they played the Pacers. I know that. Yeah, they played the and Pacers. They, they should have played the Knicks, but the Knicks got injured in the Pacers series. So, no, nah, I mean, like the East, besides the Celtics, I mean, I guess you could go with Philly, but besides, but besides that, there was no one really contending yeah. in the East. And then Philly, of course, Embiid was like not the best version of himself no yeah i think he was injured as well so and then you had um max he was pretty much carrying the load for philly so yeah so yeah, definitely celtics definitely didn't have i mean yeah they didn't really have a test and to be honest i felt like when they came out of the east if it was just the mavericks i think that that was that was their best like um I guess opponent that they could have gotten out of the West. I feel like the uh, Mavericks. First off, I have to give them credit though because I did not realize how good the Celtics were until they played the Mavs and just completely annihilated them. But I do believe that the Mavs, in experience, one thing, and they were they're a little on the little on the younger side too. So honestly, it was high hopes having them win the finals against the Celtics. Yeah, it was it was interesting, man. I mean, okay, the Celtics had the easy cakewalk, but honestly, that team is like nice. That team is just nice. They're looking good. But, just like, just to put it into crazy. perspective, they have three people on the Olympics. Yeah, right. And then they should have had four. They should have had four. Like they, he could have easily been on the team. So, yeah, and I mean, I don't know. It was tough. I, we really liked the Mavs, too, going into the playoffs. I think we did call it. We, we, we did have them as our dark horse, right? I yeah, do remember that. Interesting fact. No one's yeah. going to believe this, obviously. Yeah, no believe it, but, yeah. but I would say the beginning, probably January, February, we called Mavs making it to finals. Like there was, We were like, yeah, there's a good chance. Stars can align, make it to the finals. We um, honestly we, didn't we, see, we didn't believe in Oklahoma. We didn't really believe in Minnesota. Minnesota shocked us. It was either going to be Mavs yeah, or, or the Nuggets. The Nuggets. I yeah, mean, we yeah. That one was yeah, obvious, right? And then, although we're, we are Laker fans, but we're, we like to be, uh, you know, reasonable and Lakers weren't going <laughs> to, if they didn't get past Nuggets, they weren't going to go anywhere. No. If we didn't get the, uh, yeah, if we didn't end up the seventh seed, right? Yeah. And if Nuggets mm -hmm. didn't lose that last game, I think they lost or somebody won the last game, which put the Nuggets at the second seed. So yeah, they right. just gave us, you know, they didn't want LeBron getting five rings. That's, that's <laughs> what it was. Yeah, that, yeah that was unfortunately. LeBron, if, okay, yeah. if the Lakers played the Celtics, I think Lakers would have won. I think. Oh, yeah, if, if, we, I think, if they got I think to the finals, <laughs> if they got to the finals, I think There's Lakers would have beat the Celtics. Yeah. <laughs> the, okay, I'll say. The Nuggets were our hardest matchup, like both sides. If we beat them, yeah. anything could happen. I, I'm, I'm with you on and that. Anything could what's happen. What's crazy is I feel like we should have beat them, given the fact that we blew multiple double-digit leads. Oh yeah, I mean that oh, man, second was game was like the worst meltdown I've ever Jamal seen. And then Jamal Murray just <sighs> he did his thing against the Lakers, the classic, yeah, the Laker killer. And then in the Olympics, he's he's like averaging six points a game or something. Or not even. <laughs> he don't even play. On Team Canada, bro, too. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, let's I mean, move I on. Give props to the Celtics, though. Give props to them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's us. All right. <laughs> Dude, that, that roster is stacked, bro, for real. I, it's I mean, stacked. I was stacked. Finals, it's I was stacked. Like, no, it is. I was like, this is not good. This is, there's no <laughs> shot. I actually didn't even watch the finals. <laughs> I think I watched the first couple games. I was like, I don't need to see anything else. Like, this is just surgical. Yeah. No, yeah. There was yeah. literally was nothing bad. the Mavs could do. It was pretty do. bad. Yeah, there was no. nothing they can do. Like, yeah, it was rough. 
And you know what's crazy is they really didn't get worse this off season. They may have. They didn't really get better. They really only added Lonnie Walker, I believe, which he's not going to play. I think he's talks about him even going down to G League, which is crazy. Yeah. But we're going to also discuss later on if the Mavs, with their moves, got better or worse. But first, let's jump into the Olympics. Team USA won it all, went undefeated, almost lost to Serbia. <laughs> that was a fluke. <laughs> nah, I mean, if you think about it, Serbia really, I th- they, they really just had Jokic. But I think yeah. Team USA, I mean, you can say that Curry and... Curry and LeBron pretty much carried them that game. Kurt, LeBron, I felt, carried them the first three-fourths of the Olympics, and then Curry closed it out with that last epic performance games. against France. Oh, yeah, Serbia. that one against France. That was yep. nuts. But... Uh, dude, the Olympics is crazy. It was like some of the best basketball I've seen in years. Yeah, years. yeah I mean, it's because uh, it was competitive, actually. It wasn't like a... It definitely wasn't as much of a cakewalk as I think it was prior Olympics because, I mean, just everyone, the talent and the overall and like you know the world is getting better at basketball. Like I mean, the MVPs, Jokic is in you know he's playing for Serbia. You got Giannis on green. So Luca didn't even make the the Olympics because he 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 lost in the qualifying rounds, right? Yeah, Yeah, they didn't make it. But I feel like. He might have done that on purpose. I don't even know if... Uh, did Giannis make it? I don't, I'm not even sure if Greece made it. I think they did, but they got knocked it's out. Like, they got knocked good. out right away. Yeah, Canada's solid. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of good talent. Um, yeah. The thing, though, that we should t- talk about is the Olympic team is getting old. Uh, we looked at the potential roster of the 2028 Olympics. And, like, the big names on there is, like, Bam Adebayo, Anthony Edwards... Given how these Olympics panned out, I don't know if Tatum or Jalen Brown even wants to be a part of that team. Um, because Jalen was snubbed, Tatum did not play very much. So, do you think 2028 is the time the U.S. gets dethroned? I think we're gonna have Aaron Gordon on the team, so he might be pretty good. I don't know if you guys heard that. Yeah, they said they're gonna. They said, I guess. Uh, Steve Kurtz said they were going to invite him. But they, then they didn't invite him, mm. so he was kind of pissed. But Yeah, he was I salty. Think, um, I mean, it depends. I think four years is a lot of time for, you know, someone, an uh, American player that's young, mm-hmm. where they can sort of, you know, take that leap. Yeah. You got, yeah. I think, uh, honestly, Anthony Edwards is probably going to be the leader of that team. If yeah, he I think if, if he is the leader, though, I mean, his our chances are way worse or way like lower to win than you know. Yeah. Obviously, you have Braun, KD, and Steph on as your top three. So we'll see. Yeah, it's hard to say right now. I think I think the the young talent is still too young to see if they're gonna be as good as Jokic or Luca mm-hmm. or Giannis. You know, those those type of talents. What's the projected squad? Can't remember off the top of my head. Of I know it was. I think the only like rookie though that was on that list from this year was Shet Holger. Oh, that's solid. Yeah. And then I, you had I think Cade was on there, Cade Cunningham. Yeah, um... Cade was on there. You had Drew was still on there, I believe. Um I think, you know, in four Booker? years. I think Ja Booker was on there too. Oh yeah, Ja would be Ja would be nice. Not. I think, I think in he four was there, years, so yeah. I think we'll be all right. I still, I, I would bet on us. I mean, it's going to be home, LA. So we also don't know the talent up. that's going to be coming around the world as well, though. You might have another Jokic, Wemby, Giannis uh, think, variant okay, pop France, up. France in four years will be pretty scary. I if mean, yeah, you got to assume Wemby is going to be up there. That'll be very scary. Do you that's think Embiid is going to go back to Team USA? No, no. I think he's gonna. I go think it depends on the team. It depends on the team, but he got he the gold look. medal <laughs> and he got roasted because he was not playing for Paris yeah, no or Cameroon. Good. So we'll see. Can yeah. he play for? France? He can play for France, Cameroon. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I can see him going to France. He can play for France. Yeah, but they I think him they'll have the stuff. three three big men line up. That's pretty yeah. crazy. That's, That's actually pretty hmm. crazy. I could see the, it. The three towers. Yeah, I could see it. 
That would be actually pretty gas. I would like to see that. You guys plan to go to see a basketball game since it is in LA, right? I hope so. Oh, no, I, yeah, I want to. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I would do it just, you know, for the experience. Yeah, obviously. Would you do any game or would you, it would have to be a U.S. game? It would have, oh, to, no, be have, to, be have to be a U.S. game. Have to be a U.S. game. Have to be a U.S. game. That's fair. It definitely will not be the championship game because that's money. I yeah, also don't. Knows? Yeah, yeah. And I also don't believe in them enough to go. Like, you know what I mean? Like to get tickets <laughs> yeah. that Dang, far. Uh, like, I would. I would rather get an early game. Just yeah. to just yeah. to vibe out. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Do you guys believe that Tatum not playing in the crucial games really? made it to sour his taste i guess to joining in the 2028 olympics uh to me no i think uh i think he's honestly like i mean they got gold if he didn't play and i think if they got silver i think there would be a difference but because they won it all i think that he's probably okay he understands like the hierarchy in basketball so he knows that like i mean they already have kd they have lebron we're all kind of playing similar position. So I think he kind of knows that they're probably going to get priority over him. And uh, we had Holly Burton, who did not play at all, my goat. Um, but he accepted the memes online of him contributing nothing to the group project, but still getting an A. So good on him for not being a sore loser, right? Well, he didn't lose, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he's a champ. Nah, he's a gold <laughs> medalist. Team player, he's bro. a world champion. Yep. Nah, Easiest path he's to solid. a gold he's solid. medal. He deserved to be on the team, honestly. So, I think you guys are sleeping on Holly, man. I'm telling you. Ah, I think he's good. He's uh, not better than I'm Curry. Not sleep. Not sleep, <laughs> but I'm definitely not like top five player in the league. Yeah. Top five least. point guard. Point Give guard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a there's a there's a conversation. Yeah. It just is he better? Is he's better? Passing. Is okay. he? Okay, name five. Name five. Point guards better than Holly. I can't. You can't? Curry. I'll give yeah. you that. Curry. I think Jaw. Kyrie is better. Kyrie? Jaw? Kyrie disappeared in the finals is my thing. Wow. Disappeared? I wouldn't say disappeared. I don't mm. know. I think the Celtics think he... is good. There was, it's hard. You're playing against yeah. like... Yeah, Celtics defenders. Yeah, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Uh, White, him up. White, White is good too. Yeah. yeah, it's it's. There's only so much you can do, especially after going through like all the West teams. Hypothetically, this tough. Curry, Jaw, and then Kyrie. I don't see who else. Two more, two more point guards. Yeah, better than Halliburton. The, Trey I mean, Young. Feel- Would you say Trey Young? Nah, I feel I like would, they have I a would, similar I would, set. I would rather have Halliburton than Trey Young, just based on. Uh, I mean, Halliburton fits the pacer, like you know, he runs yeah. that offense really good. So, Trey Young's teams have never really done that well. I mean, I, it could be the part the players they have, but I think Lillard still is up there. Lillard, so okay, I think he's still up there. Lillard over Halley, currently. I would say. In, playoffs, yeah, in the yeah. landscape of the league, Holly Burton is the best true point guard. Like, given what a point guard should be, a facilitator running the yeah. offense, he is the best right now. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think I would give him that. In terms of That's just running a team. Okay, but you, yes, you guys are taking Holly over Melo, right? Holly over Melo? La- LaMelo? Well, yeah. yeah well, Right now, for, yeah, because right Lamelo is too in, right is now. too injury prone. Okay, let's but say get a healthy Lamelo season, he does like, have potential. more potential. Okay, Melo over Halley, right? Like if like peak, like yeah, like if Melo's healthy, oh, peak. Like, yeah, yeah Melo's healthy peak. We're gonna go Melo over Halley. Uh, right? Melo might be the best point guard in the league at the peak. At, at healthy peak, potential wise, he potential. might be the best in the league. She and Lonzo like too. That. Long, not not like he, not like top of the league, but he's definitely up there if he was healthy and everything. He was healthy. Okay, look. Okay, healthy Lonzo. I'm no hesitation. I'm picking him over Halliburton. I'm not even joking. I'm not you even are joking. wild. I'm not even dude. joking. 
I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It depends. Is he the the guy though, or he's joking. a he's a role? He's like a playing a role. I would. He's like he's not. Oh, but can, give me this. Give me this. Give me. Is it really like the guy, right? Like if we're if you're talking no, about no, like no, the, yeah. your traditional. But this is what card, I'm saying. This what? is what I'm saying. Yeah. When you think of Pacers, is it Holly's team or is it Siakam's team? Oh, no, it's, it's Holly's team. It's, it's Holly's team. team. Okay, yes. so he's the guy on the Pacers, right? Yeah, he's the guy. Take out Holly, put Lonzo into that situation. Healthy. A healthy Lonzo. I don't yeah. think they're as good. I think they're I think they're better. No. I mean Lonzo's I defense even, is way counting. better than Holly. I'm not even counting. That's Lonzo's true. defense is way better That's than That's what I'm saying. Like, That's what I'm his saying. His defense so, might be the best yes. point guard. Uh, yes. He's up there with Drew, like honestly. And he does the same thing as Holly. I would, I would like, say Marcus Smart's a better defender than, than Lonzo. Okay, that's fair, but Marcus Smart don't—he doesn't yeah. pass. Mark like you know, like he, the overall true point guard. Yeah. I think, yeah, Lonzo's up there, healthy. Obviously, that's yeah, a big Lonzo. factor. Yeah. Like but... I would take him over Halbert. I'm not even—I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. I swear. Mm. Lonzo. Lonzo. I don't know. I, swear. I, would take I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, he learned how to shoot again. You okay. know, he hits his shots. Yeah, true, true, true. But a healthy it, Lonzo is so good. Like, nah, yeah. he, he changed the, Bulls were the, the team. Yeah. The Bulls were yeah. the number one seed until he got injured. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the Bulls now. Broken. Oh, speaking <laughs> of Bulls, we had a, a legend mm. retire recently. Oh, yeah. Talk about point guards, bro. The goat right here. What could have been without the injuries, this guy was absolutely nuts. Comparisons to, well, John Morant has comparisons to D-Rose, but D-Rose was on a whole other level, in my opinion, than what Ja currently is. Like, youngest MVP ever in the league. He was the guy for the Chicago Bulls. Put up a fight against Braun, but the ACL. Yeah, I think he had two ACL injuries. Oh, no. Is it two ACL or two MCL injuries? I just know one, he had bad one injuries. ACL? Yeah, the, the ACL was definitely yeah, bad. That, was, that sure. was pretty much it. But Yeah, that was, that was tough. Yeah, this guy was like no, one of my he, idols growing up. Middle school, high school. I kind of modeled my game around him. The reverse layup package, you know. Jeez. That was sick. <laughs> I, I heard you can dunk like him too. <laughs> yeah, D Rose is dope. <sighs> I think he was the. He's definitely the first player. He was that the first. I got a jersey for. I didn't have yeah. a Kobe jersey. Oh, okay, okay. I but he was you. the first player I got a jersey for. Yeah. Now he was the, definitely like the first. Uh, I don't want to say yeah. like prototype or type of point guard like where that oh, yeah. was just yeah. literally could you know catch alley oops and dunks regularly. Oh, yeah. Explosive, right? yeah. There was no one up to that like you know point guards were yeah. maybe like a Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, uh, you like know no point traditional guards, point like, guards. Yeah, they're Chris they're Paul. playing under the rim, not above yeah. the rim type of thing. And if you just yeah. look at his explosion, I don't think. I mean, yeah, even to this day, at least with the explosion and. The production mm-hmm. he had, I don't think any other players really have hit that level when he was at his MVP level. Definitely not. Mm. Like not even Russ. Like he's Russ is yeah. not even as explosive as Derrick Rose like, was at he twenty was two or whatever bro. he was. So it's like di- it's like different. Like just the way he yeah. can explode, and I guess you know move. Like mm-hmm. his layup package was different. So growing up, I was like purely a Kobe Laker fan and he was probably the first player that like caught my attention to where I was like okay if the Lakers aren't doing their thing I'm a Bulls fan kind of thing <laughs> that's fair that's fair how's me with Curry shoot <laughs> <laughs> Curry days yeah like, I'm like, the Lakers had their uh had their their uh Bad days. It was definitely the Curry show. Yeah. No, I mean the evolution of the point guard. Yeah, I think it it, it really started with Rose, and then obviously it turned into Steph Curry with his three yeah. point shooting. So they oh, they yeah. were definitely the two point guards <laughs> who I felt like that's when the league started to change a little bit yeah. to become like higher scoring, and the centers kind of went out of style, and you know everything in the NBA kind of switched. Yeah. So. Yeah, it changed over like what 10, 10 15 years ish. 
Yeah, it became NBA a point guard league, actually. Like, really, it became like a point guard. I mean, LeBron league, point guard league, but the center, like, sort of disappeared. So. And then, speaking of legends that are retired now, we have Mr. Adrian Wojnowski calling it quits. Now, we only have <laughs> Shams breaking the news. Don't know who's going to replay Woj. Shams might replace Woj. Some new player. I heard someone from the baseball league might switch over to the NBA. Uh, interesting. But I think Sham probably deserves that spot. What's your guys' uh, favorite, most rememberable Woj bomb? I wouldn't say favorite, but like one that you can vividly remember where you were <laughs> when it happened. Oh, damn, there's a lot. I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. Because there's, a, there's a, like a lot. Of fun, so, so. <laughs> I mean, I remember, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember Steve Nash of the Lakers. That one yeah. that was interesting. Party. Yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say, uh, was, uh, like, the, I was gonna say a little before, but the Chris uh, Paul thing, that was like, actually yeah, the Chris best. Paul, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that right. was best. That didn't go Steve. through. That was best. Mm hmm. And then when Dwight left uh, to oh, Houston, yeah. I was like, to Houston. Hey. <laughs> I was like, bro. I remember There's some too. crazy bombs over here. When my, I mean, when Both LeBron came Houston. to the Lakers, I remember where I oh, was yeah. there. So that, that was, was great ones. That, that was, was a good one. Yeah. Uh, that I remember being extremely shocked when I heard Montrez Harrell signing with the Lakers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> that I was surprised. Crazy. I mean, we were winning it all at that point. We had the sixth man of the year. Yeah. And we had and just then... won the championship. So, That's I remember That's when... Fair. That context. Uh, Anthony Davis got traded. Oh, that was okay, loose. okay, yeah. Just That's mid-day kind of random. Because they traded Lonzo. Yeah. So, that my boy. Lonzo. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Lonzo Hart. And Ingram and Jan Larry Nance Jr. And some yep. picks. And four picks, which turned into, uh, I think Darius Garland was one of them. So Dyson Daniels? Right? Yeah, no. I think so. so. And then the guy that's also on the Lakers now, Jackson Hayes. So, yeah. got our pick back. Yeah. Um, I mean, it worked out, worked out. So, so I um, think the, the most, like, wow Woj bomb to me was like, dude, what the heck when it happened was when he announced the NBA season got canceled due to COVID. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember, well, okay. I just remember Rudy Gobert did the mic thing and then yep. like the next day is over. So mm -hmm. the so next day, I think it was like <laughs> an <laughs> Oklahoma City Thunder game. I forgot who they were playing against, but that got canceled. And then, like, another game got canceled. Then the whole day of games got canceled. And then they're like, yeah, season's canceled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, no, was I mean, that was a crazy time. That was a crazy time. And then, obviously, the bubble and everything, which worked out for the Lakers. Lakers. Which I don't think oh, is a flu. Like, it's not, it's not the, kind of, this, this, not a Disney ring, honestly. I think that was a Disney pretty ring. legit ring. I thought, I thought it was pretty cool or interesting, you know. The, the yeah. I think was kind of weird. But I thought it was pretty cool that we that basketball was back. I was so happy. Yeah, the, I, uh, that was like the first think... time I watched. You know, I mean, on a laptop. Dude, I was so happy. Yeah, I was, I was like, watching oh every God. game, not even just a Lakers yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I felt like I was in like high school again, like watching every single game, like even like yeah. the whack games. I was just watching. Yep. Yeah. Well, Nothing else to do. Back, but like, you know what I mean? Like those, like Magic's in the slams. So I'm watching Magic now. So like, and stuff you like just that. had the most random players going off. Yeah, that was the probably the craziest part like players are just like yo what's going on yeah yeah, yeah uh, the phoenix cool. suns they went like eight oh, yeah. and in the bubble or something i forgot oh, but yeah, they but still didn't make it but <laughs> they, they went nuts it was fun. yeah <laughs> that was the beginning oh yeah well had some crazy moments i think uh just the ones with those big blockbuster trades happening like when the nets yeah. assembled you know with like oh Kyrie, yeah kd hmm. Arden, like that was crazy um just moves. I mean, all these big moves in fall of Kevin Durant, but like all the all the votes bombs with Kevin Durant, those are crazy. Oh, dude, the remember Warriors. Kevin Durant to the Warriors? Yeah, Kevin Durant to the heart. Warriors was crazy. Twitter blew up. It was crazy. Yeah, I remember being so sad. I was a big. I was big on uh, the Thunder team. Like I, I love watching him play with Russ, Harden. But yeah, that he yeah. was kind of whack. So but, yeah. no, another question for you guys: so, Did it feel weird? Having a blockbuster trade of Carl Anthony Towns go down without being a Woj bomb. It was now just Shams calling the shot. 
Yeah. <laughs> I actually saw it on Instagram first, so I actually didn't it's see funny. it on Twitter. I think it was like House of Highlights or one of those actually that I saw. Yeah. But uh, I, guess it was weird. I, it, I think it's different if Woj is not doing it. I mean, you expect uh, Woj and uh, Shams to always compete, so it's always yeah. like fun to see who posts it first. Because all the comments are fun to read too. They always mm-hmm. are roasting the other one, so it's cool. True. I think it'll be fine though without Woj. Uh, I think Shams, you know, he's he's been consistent for a while now. He's mm-hmm. he'll be able to uh, you know keep it going with all the news. Yeah, someone will post. So it's like so we will definitely miss Woj. But now we will move on, and we're gonna go a little rapid fire here because we are cutting it a little long. Uh, free agency moves, trades, things of that nature. So the first thing we should touch on is Nuggets. Added Russell Westbrook, lost KCP. How big of a move was getting Westbrook, and how big of a hit is losing their best three and D player? I think Nuggets got worse. First off, Nuggets got worse to me. Getting Russ, it will help in terms of you know ball handling, but also I guess that's what the Lakers were also going for. Clippers were also probably going for that, and I mean he didn't work out in those two situations, so it's hard to see. If him really making them better, I think. Yeah. I think Russ's ego is still a little inflated. He's a, He thinks he's better than he actually is, given the stats that he's producing. I do think they did get worse. KCP was huge for that team defense, defensively. Oh, yeah, and definitely. Shooting-wise, shooting wise, shooting wise, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a big hit. He's going to do great in, on the Orlando Magic, so I think that's going to be a team to look out for coming up. Not Maybe not this season, but in the future. I, with Paolo, Jalen no, Snuggs, Suggs. Yeah, I think they're already pretty solid. They have yeah. Wagner as well. Um, um, a lot yeah, of people yeah. don't realize that they were in the playoffs last year, but no one really cared because... Yeah. No, oh, they're solid. They're gonna be like a T Wolves or something like you know some of, sort of like that with a young player OKC. Yeah. I think they they'll be like you know up there eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got some first. But yeah, Matt, my opinion though, Nuggets not as good as they were. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think Jamal Murray is as good as he used to be either. I think yeah. that Lakers series was actually like kind of. You know, His I think he was dance. playing better. He was playing better than he actually is, I think. Yeah. Even though, like, it's Jamal Murray. That's, that was my opinion. Um. So the next team that we're going to look at is the Pistons picking up Tobias Harris and Hardaway Jr. One of the things the Pistons struggled with last year is offensive production. Now they're adding two, two. offensive-minded players. I guess you could say Hardaway is more of a two-way but Tobias Harris is definitely a scorer does this change the Pistons situation at all or are they still going to be trash Uh, I think give them maybe five five more wins (laughs) yeah I mean if you're talking about Tim Hardaway he didn't do anything for the Mavericks yeah really and then Tobias Harris I mean he's everyone you know they they kind of make jokes saying this Tobias, or he's the MJ of Tobias Harris, or something, something like that. I forgot what the jokes were, but like, yeah, Tobias Harris said, uh, you know, he's I believe good. he's good. He he's is good. the most paid salary no, wise player. Go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Without making an All Star appearance, which is wild. Yep, he's like the poor man's Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. If you want to like give him that, he's good. He's good. Yeah, I I don't see the Pistons improving much. With this trade. I mean, Cade is really their only star, possibly, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, Jaden might be solid. And then uh, Duran is also all right. But star-wise, yeah, it's really just Cade. And yeah, it's hard to carry it. I, I, they're just really young, too. So, you know. Yeah, it's yeah that's, a, that's a thing. They're young. So it might take a few years for you to even see much development. So um, get number one pick next year. So Pelicans lost Nance, Dyson Daniels, Jonas Valanciunas, but picked up Daniel Dice and Murray, Dejounte Murray. Better or worse? Uh I mean, to me, they're probably better. But 
I think losing uh, Valanciunas, that's a big loss. Right. And Daniel Theis is undersized for his mm-hmm. position. But, I mean, I guess in today's... Uh, no, I can't really say that. I guess, you know, there are centers today that, you know, will expose you if you're not big enough. But I think Murray is better than all those players they lost, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think they're trying to just get faster here, right? These moves. Like, a mm-hmm. lot faster. And I think, what's his name? Uh, Zion, he lost weight. Maybe he starts, I don't know, playing a lot better. He's going to have a, gonna have a good year. I think he had a good year this past year, yeah. honestly. I think so too, like, yeah. he, he did, he did. Like, this, this year, past year, he was a... I think yeah. Yeah, he was the main reason they got to... And I think they made the playoffs and he got hurt, so... Or they didn't make the playoffs. I forgot. Yeah, but I think but he was they injured. didn't make the playoffs because we beat them, right, or something like that. Yeah, we played them in the play-in, and then Zion got hurt. I think in the play-in or that's something right, like right. that. Was so yeah, yeah, he was true. going off on us though. Like actually, he had like yeah. thirty something. <clears throat> so yeah, I think I mean, with um, and then with Murray too, that just adds like you're gonna get like at le- guaranteed sixteen at at least sixteen more points per game. Yeah, and, and then the pay, assist but production. The pace goes up. Yeah, pace just goes yeah. up. So he is a great yeah, uh, ball stealer as well. He's good. Yeah, yeah. defense. Defense. Um, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be mm, so, kind of interesting with their lineup. Yeah. Their lineup. So right now their starting lineups looking probably like Zion, Ingram, McCollum, Murray, which is kind of nice. And, and Jones, right? Whoever they're gonna want to put at, yeah, Jones. So that's um, pretty good. So. That's pretty solid. It just depends on Zion's health, I guess. And Brandon Ingram, I guess, is a big trade target. They're looking to move him. I guess he doesn't really like it in New Orleans, but I don't know. That's true. There was like those games where like, he was just not playing, right? Like, yeah. They just had him on the bench. But mm-hmm. the, the Pelicans are still playing well, so yeah, I don't know. I actually yeah. don't know where they're being moved up. Because oh, yeah, they're, they're, I think the the issue with him was Brandon Ingram versus Zion. Like, who's who's the guy? Yeah, I think they want Zion to be the guy, which I think is the right move. Mm -hmm. So up next, we have Clippers losing Paul George, Kawhi injured again, and they, I believe, they re-signed or they lost Westbrook. Um, but they did add Kevin Porter Jr. Nice player, but you know, woman beater. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ballsy move to sign him, but and then they also added Derek Jones, who was on the Mavericks championship run team. Uh obviously they got worse. Yeah, they're cooked. Clips nah, yeah, they nah. I mean uh Paul George is arguably their best arguable arguably their best player last season, I think. Yeah. Um and he, I think he is their most consistent actually last year too. So <laughs> mm-hmm. You pretty much need Harden to go and drop, not drop, but be similar to his Houston days. Because if Kawhi is not there, who's going to be scoring the points? And yeah, obviously Kawhi has not been consistently playing for the past five years. So yeah, I definitely think they're going to have to have Harden step up and take a bigger scoring role. Which, yeah. which who I don't knows know how that do. works. I think he's thirty-four years old now. So yeah. I mean, unless he has some LeBron type run, like this might not happen. But um, see, Kings, they lost Harrison Barnes, basically repla- replaced him with Demar Derozan, and was able to re-sign Malik Monk. Better, I would say so. Derozan's a better player. Yeah, Derozan's definitely better player than Harrison Barnes. I guess, but Harrison Barnes did have a role on their team, though. Like he did have yeah. a. He had a leadership role, and I mean, he was, you know, he he played his role good. So, and Damar, I mean, I think he, he also is at this point of his career probably okay with playing just as a role player. Yeah. So, they now have Damar, Malik, uh, Fox, and Sabonis as their elite players, I guess you would yeah. say. Solid squad, but yeah, I don't think they can compete. Still in the West, not with the top. I, four, I think they're like uh, they're like the Atlanta Hawks back then of the West Coast, though. Like you're gonna be a middle playoff team, but then you're gonna get cooked. Yeah, I mean they don't really have a guy who's even in the top ten, and I don't think you can win anything unless you have a player who's in yeah. the, like top ten at least. So we'll see. They're worse than the Lakers. 
Definitely. Um, so here is a sad one. Golden State losing Clay and uh, also losing CP3. Adding Buddy Heald and Kyle Anderson. Oh, man. Worse or are they worse? Yeah, they're worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're I mean, worse. Buddy's a nice shooter, but there's absolutely no defensive effort there. Uh, yeah, Kyle buddy, Anderson. Mm. Slow mo. Good sure he's good, though. He's good. No, he was really good on the Wolves. I like. I he mean, was. I like him on the Spurs too. He was. He's always been yeah. a really solid role player. <laughs> but the I, Warriors. Okay. I mean, if you think about it, they don't have another scorer over yeah. twenty points besides Curry. Draymond literally just passed to Steph and Clay the whole. I'll be, yeah. He does other stuff, but you know, like and like punch his... people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He does that kind of stuff, but. Um, they're pretty much expecting like Brandon Podemski and then uh, mm. what's his name, uh, Kaminga, yeah. Kaminga to step up. Like they're expecting these guys to be like not all star talent, but you know, like getting up there where they're able to yeah. drop twenty points consistently. Realistically, I think the only one possibly capable is Kaminga. Yeah, I mean he was he was good already last season. I think he had he averaged like seventeen almost. Mm-hmm. But obviously the Warriors didn't make the playoffs, so he was doing that on a bad squad. If you, you can kind of say bad squad, so I yeah. don't know. I don't think they're going to be anywhere close to winning, like you know, possibly ever, at least in Curry's career. Unless they get someone, they got to get like a big name. So, but they got worse. What do you have to say, VJ? Yeah, I agree. It's going to be rough. <laughs> I'll watch all the Warrior games. I love how they play. Yeah. But Would you say rough. that it's this fun. franchise is officially cooked? Like, there's no more Curry like, winning in Golden Texas. State? Uh, tough then to again, say, but probably, yeah. Let's I think the, remember, yeah, he signed only a one-year extension or two-year extension, right? So he didn't commit yeah, one long-term. Year, one year. Mm-hmm. Might be the end of Curry. I don't know. I feel like there's a good chance he stays in Golden State, but if it's bad, bad. If he wants to win, he has to leave. That's yeah. like his only option. Yeah, he would, he would have to. Um, I think. I, mean, I wouldn't mind I, him in a Laker uniform. This is my hot yep. take. I think we this have the take. assets to trade. Okay, we got a hot take. First hot take. Let's hear this it. Is my hot take. I don't even know if it's that hot, but I think. Okay, so LeBron has one year left, right? Is that, what's, mm-hmm. is that his thing? So if LeBron yep. has one year left and he leaves. Like, if he's just done. Like, he's just happy doing this year, with like playing with his son. Um, like, you know, leaves first... the NBA or leaves the Lakers? NBA, NBA. Like, if he's retiring. Oh, okay, right? okay. I think I think Curry will follow suit. I think he'll also retire. Same year. Really? Yeah, I think I can see that. I feel that. like Curry has a lot left in the tank, though. I, th- I think so, too. That's why I'm saying it's, like, a little hot. Like, I can see yeah. him leaving with Ron. Okay. I can see him leaving with Ron. We'll see. We'll see. That'd be cool, though. Uh, That'd be kind of yeah. cool. That'd be sad. I, I but dig that'd it. That'd be kind of cool. I, but yeah, he I, still looks good. He, like the best he's looked, arguably. Yeah. Like I want to say right yeah. now, he looks really good. My hot take is if LeBron plays another season after this, Stephen Curry will be a Laker. You like playing together? And it'll be the last hurrah. Them two playing together? If it's not, if they're not going to be a Laker, they're going to team up somewhere. And Maybe LeBron goes to Golden State. Well, I don't think I don't think LeBron is ever going to leave Lakers as long as Bronny's on the squad. Yeah. I mean, like I think at this point he wants to stay. You know, he's I mean he's almost forty. He probably wants to stay with his family. Bronny, yeah. you know, he's on the Lakers for three That's years, right. I think. So if it's going to happen, it'll happen on the Lakers. So I can see it happening. I mean, I don't think it'll like to me. It wouldn't diminish anything on Steph's career if he joined the Lakers. Oh yeah. It just you know, it just depends if he wants yeah. that that label like of I chance. stayed with Yeah. Like I think it just depends. He wants to be like Kobe, he wants to be on, like Dirk, you know, like like that. As yeah, honestly, like saying, yeah. I think yeah. if anything, Braun and Cur or Curry going teaming up with Braun at the end of his career only helps his legacy. I mean, yeah. it's like a good move. Like the fans want to see it. 
Oh yeah, and to go down is one of those moves in NBA history where you're like two of the top, you know, whatever top five or whatever yeah. junk team. So uh, it'll, it'll be fun. I think it could happen because I think both of them want. I think they both still want to win, even though they're you know at the end of their career, they still want to win more than more than anything else. There was something special seeing LeBron and Curry play together in the Olympics, especially that lob from Curry to Bron. Oh yeah, they got, they, got that, they got the max aura for real. There's yeah. freaking you got LeBron out there, team captain, and Dang. Chef Curry, easy. All right, all right. I gotta ask though, is there another player you'd rather see Steph team up with, like Halliburton and team situation? Okay. Like, team? Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. Uh, in the league right now? Think, um, no. Where do you think he would have success? Like, as if a he, shot he, at a he title? would have he would have success everywhere. To be honest, well. Most places that's already established, but I think LeBron is the biggest team that that like nothing's gonna beat that, like media wise and like popularity wise. But where could he go? Maybe Giannis to the Bucks. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think he can play with Jokic, but the Jokic would be crazy too. That kind of break the NBA. I think Jokic, like it. I mean, Jokic is probably the best player in the league right now. Yeah. So I think if you put him with his passing and, you know, obviously the best shooter ever, I mean, I don't know if he can really stop that combo. Offensively, they're too good. Yeah. Honestly, I think, though, I only. Go ahead. I, don't, I think if Curry went to the Lakers, I don't think, I don't think they'd win still. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think they'd win still. And I'm well, like, even if, even if they were able to keep Anthony Davis, uh, if you're able to keep Anthony Davis, LeBron, Curry, uh, they can, they can keep all three. I mean, they can keep both. I think they just yeah. have to get rid of the rest. You know, yeah, I look all the gone. Players are gone. I don't think so. I don't think we could do it. I, I think feel we could, like dude, realistically, these are teams. I think if Curry were to move, and you get to keep like the core players, teams that are not like. Um, I guess like fringe championship teams, right? Like, we're not we're not going to count like Curry to Boston, like obviously, yeah. right? But like fringe championship, I think if you add Curry to Philly, well, oh, Philly man, that's with good, Maxi right? or who? Like, what, what? you could just swap whoever guard you want, and that's yeah, that's Maxi fine. for Curry. I think um, okay, Curry to the Suns. I'm a no, no, stop think? it, no. I would so, actually hate Curry for that. But Curry, well, but, they, they but gotta get rid like, of somebody though. They can't keep like yeah, yeah. Beal. Get rid of Beal. And, but when if they get rid of Beal, if yeah, they get rid sure. of Beal, oh, dude, that's yeah, spicy. Sure, that's fine. that's like a spicy team. You could do the Suns, and then you'll have the reunion with yeah. Katie Curry. That's kind of cool. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him on the Heat with Jimmy. He's I don't think they'll win though. They're not gonna win. Yeah, they, they wouldn't win. win. Not a He's chance. But I don't think they'd win. I like um in a world where. Curry goes to Minnesota. That mm. Yeah, boring, Minnesota. I could see that. Yeah, no, I could see that too. I could definitely win. And I mean, clip, even if he was on, if he was on the Clippers of last year, I like. Oh yeah. Oh, that if he was nice. on the Clippers of last year, that would have been nice. So yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, he, he, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's another team that, if he were to walk in, swap like maybe like another player. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think anyone else. I don't think, yeah. Yeah. Try to think, but. Well, we can only dream, and I really dream that he's going to the Lakers (laughs) next year. That would be crazy. That would be really crazy. Moving on to the Spurs, they picked up the scraps, picked up CP3 and Harrison Barnes. Do they get better? CP3 is big for Wemby, I think, even though he's older. Does this make them a playoff team? Mm. Oh man, it's tough. <laughs> I mean, their squad is literally CP3. I think they have um, oh man, Vassal? what's his name? No, that's yeah. Not they it. have a cell. They have a cell. Oh uh, yeah. Shoot. Sohan, Keldon so Johnson, John? Keldon Johnson. Obviously, Wemby. Playoffs in the West still kind of tough. So. Yeah, I feel like if they do make it, they're a playoff play-in team. Play-in. I mean, I can see that, but yeah, definitely not contending yet. 
I doubt yeah. Wemby's going to become superstar right away. On I, I still have doubts on him that he's going to be able to consistently drop 25 a game, honestly. Yeah. So, definitely I mean, not yet, at least. Not yet. He, he I think if seen, anything... Stay. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's not aggressive enough. I think on offense. Because so um, it's only been a year, right? One year. Yeah. And if watching those Spurs games, like... Okay, let's say in the world, like, he actually gets all of the... Like, he gets the ball in, like, most spots. I think he's easily averaging over 20, at least. If if yeah. they're really going for it. They didn't really yeah. go for it last year. Like that. Like, there was yeah. lots... You can even see in, like, those highlights people would just share. Like, those, that he's open, they just wouldn't pass it. But... Yeah, especially Jeremy Sohan. He kinda, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, they, there's just, like, those weird problem things. Or but... What? If Chris Paul can get the team together to like be like, "Yo, yeah, yeah, we leadership." Get his looks, these other looks will open up. Yeah, I then see. It. Be, then we're then it's I gonna be a vision. lot different. But it's also like um, defense too. Hopefully, team defense gets better. Yeah. But if if they're on page with the offense and the looks, they're at, they're easily gonna get like at least eight plus more points a game. Is this a hot take saying that Wemby is going to go down as the best def- defensive player to ever play the game? No, I don't think it's a hot take because I mean, he already averaged, he's already leading who, the league. Who would you consider is the, the defensive goat? I would say Dennis Rodman. Like ever? To be fair, uh, I don't know. Rashid Wallace. I don't know about him that well. Rashid uh, Wallace, Dennis Rodman, <laughs> Hakeem Olajuwon. I think those are like the big three. What about modern player? Let's not. We'll, we'll, we'll go modern. Matt I Barnes. Watch for guys, to be honest. <laughs> Anthony I'm Davis. Gonna I'm not even gonna say like they're. It's a totally I guess you have game. to. You would have to say like totally Dwight different. Howard, Rudy okay, Gobert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go like 15 years. Yeah. So, I could see. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, he's better yeah, than Rudy here. Gobert. I'm actually really thinking. Here. I'm thinking. It's obviously Andre Dar- Drummond. Sure. I mean, no, Dwight Howard actually was really, like, he was really good. No, he was, okay, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. Is AD better defensively? Than Dwight Howard or Wemby? Uh, let's say Howard first. Mm, Sorry, I think, like... The guard-wise, I, so. I mean, like, he can switch better, yes. Dwight was, better. like, the thing with Dwight is, is you didn't see a force like him since Shaq. Prime Shaq. Like, we're talking offense he was... Defense? Or both. Just like, well, in general, you know, like his build, his athletic athletic ability, and being big. That's fair. I think it's tough because, like, obviously the NBA changes so much through the eras, right? I do think, I think the best defensive player now in my mind currently is like they have to be able to lock down one on one and they have to be able to change the landscape of the team defense. If they're able to do both of those things, I think then I think you're a great player. So like a Drew Holiday, he could do that, right? Drew Holiday, like Marcus Sunday, Smart, uh, can going back. Anthony, Anthony you Davis have, could like, do that, like one through five. Yeah, like a prime Tony LeBron Allen could do that. Um, Remember that beast? No, Tony Allen was one of the better guard Tony defenders Allen, ever. Yeah, he I was think. guarding up too, so that's how I was yeah. kind of like okay. I mean, him, and, him versus Kobe was yeah. always good matchup. So mm-hmm. that's fun, yeah, fun times. Like yeah, just stuff like I that. Know, I feel like, but see, if you look. If you ask me to say, if let's say Davis is the pinnacle of defense today, I don't think so. I think so. Yeah. Even in the past, I like, I'll, I want to say Wemby is better than that. You you think Wemby's going forward? Can go beyond it. Can go. Yes. Beyond it. I could see that too. To be fair, but I, I also, mean he just has he's seven yeah. four. <laughs> yeah. So I think is there. He, he can, can go beyond. Can. Yeah. But I do think. Yeah. I think AD is the. It's kind of crazy, but I think AD is the best. All time, yeah. I mean, Giannis and he's is pretty good too. Smart. I think Giannis so, is solid too. Giannis, Giannis is solid pretty too. good. I mean, he's just big. It's just tough because, like, I get the awards, I get the the Rick, whatever, you know. Yeah. But I think, like, if you if you really just think about it, like, how many yeah. people are you gonna pick over AD? Like, defense. Like, honestly, right? like he he is know. like it's the tough. defensive anchor of your. Like, he changes the game with his defense. Like, you don't want to attack the rim. Yeah, exactly. And like, look at the Lakers, bro. Like, we have okay defenders, but when yeah. AD is there, it's just different. It's just a lot. It different. is. Yeah, like Which his ability like to switch and help. Yeah. He's like, I would say AD is probably the greatest help defender ever. Like the way he can just yeah, yeah. Bah, recover. That's valid. That's, val- that's honestly valid. 
Like I'm yeah. not even he just moves better. Him. He moves good for a big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or that's agile. The thing. I'm like looking for that, and Wemby can do that, which is obviously like he could do that. So if he could just keep doing it, and I don't know, just gains a little more muscle, I think he's good. I think he could he, definitely get there. Probably could have won the award this year, honestly. Yeah, you, you could also say that. Yeah. Uh, moving on to OKC. This honestly, I think <laughs> they are going to be finally not frauds. I think they are going to make vast improvements in their young players. They picked up Caruso and Hartenstein, which I think is a really underrated pickup. They did overpay, I think, but he is gritty. He is a great center. Both players Very underrated. Yeah, I like Hartenstein a lot. Yeah. They got rid of Josh yeah, he's good. He's good. Hayward retired. Um, But picking up Caruso and... Hartenstein brings a lot of dog to the team, I would say. Yeah, I think they got better because honestly, did oh gosh, Giddy didn't play much in the playoffs. <laughs> did, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> did he? No. <laughs> Basically, did he? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no, he didn't play much in the playoffs. So, I mean, Caruso definitely makes yeah. a difference. I mean, he made a difference on the Lakers, and yeah. then um. Yeah, I mean, I think they just got better yeah. overall. They just, just need, they say, need that they need that toughness. I just gotta say one name, Chet. No, that's it. Chet, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, they're, they're I think he's gonna have a great Chet. leap this year. Chet. Honestly, he's good. Yes, he's he'll, he'll be good. He'll I be really honestly good. think that so putting Uber. Caruso back in his winning situation is gonna elevate him as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sure. honestly, Caruso just needs to really, um, you know, play hard defense, go for those 50-50 balls, um, you know, occasionally. I mean, Caruso moved good off ball as well. So, I mean, he has, you know, he has a lot of the um, characteristics that OKC needs yeah. to, like, win. Yeah. I, th- I, I think they're better <laughs> than the mm, – it's hard to say. It depends. But I think they're probably better than the t Wolves still. So, yeah, I, 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 I think now, especially, That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I think they're better. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to what may be the biggest overhaul or second biggest. The Philadelphia 76ers get rid of Buddy Heald, Tobias, Covington, Batum, Melton, but they pick up Drummond, Eric Gordon, Reggie Jackson, Caleb Martin, drafted Jared McCain, and pick up Paul George. Are they the beast in the East? No. Um, no. <laughs> but they're definitely, nah. like, top three. <laughs> nah. I, I kind of like top they're three. They're out there. I kind of like a top think, three. I want to say, given Joel Embiid's Olympic... I know it's different. It's FIBA. It's a different rules. But given his Olympic performance, I'm not too high on this team. No, I don't think... I don't think they have... I mean, you know, like, championship team... Yeah, I don't think they're there yet. Or Dang. I don't think they were ever really there. And Bede's just, honest. he has health issues. Oh. He needs to stay healthy. If they couldn't win with James Harden over there, I don't really see how they can win with Paul George, to I be honest. I think overall, though, they did pick up great role players. Eric yeah. Gordon. Mm-hmm. Caleb mm-hmm. Martin is huge, in my opinion. Drummond, good backup Solid center. defender. Reggie yeah. Jackson, the Laker killer. I think, they could McCain, do it. The I, I think they could do a good run. I think they can do a good run. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to say have... I like Western the Conference Finals exit. Or Eastern Conference Finals exit. ECF. You think they're better than the Knicks? Uh, I don't like know. Now. I don't know. They So, like, uh, players I really on paper, don't... it's like a good, it's a good matchup on paper, yeah. right? On paper? But they have to gel. I, That's the thing. They don't I have just don't, together. I want to see know. how... Cat responds to the energy of the New York fan base because it's kind of rough. Oh yeah, yeah. I no, he's I mean well he's definitely gonna get more criticized there. So he's gonna like, he's gonna um, be. I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be all right. I think the Knicks have a Knicks have a good squad. He'll fit in. Mm-hmm. His role and like ability, yeah, he should, he should gel with the team. Speaking of with uh, another thing with Philadelphia, we have Lowry, Kelly Oubre, and Maxi and Embiid all signing. 
uh, resigning yeah. with the team. Yeah. So they got a good squad, but I don't know. I don't know. It has to gel. I think there's a, um, like, okay, so like realistically, right? You just need, you only really need that core. And you just have to make sure Paul George fits in. And then like two role players. And you're you're kind of set. Yeah. So as long as that works, I'm like confident in the team. Because it's like pretty good. It's like a solid mm-hmm. spot. They have length. They c- everyone can kind of score. You score in different yeah. places. It's not bad. I think it also depends on the leap Tyrese Maxey takes if he does, again, take he another leap. He should pop leap. off. Yeah, he should pop off still. I think he should like definitely look for his, his uh, spots. And you know, that Jared McCain rookie is good. Yeah, yeah I think I love he's, like, his yeah, he's good on TikTok. He's good on TikTok. I look, he, I think he can, he'll have an impact right away. I think so. I think yeah. So. The way he plays um, is uh, very um, mature, and he has a lot of those, like, um, I don't want to say this. He scores. It's, it's really easy for him, like, downhill. And you have, yeah. if he's just slashing with the, yeah. that roster makeup, he's going to get a lot of easy buckets. So, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I kind of believe so, it. So, uh, I hope Minnesota. Kyle Anderson out. Cat out. Additions of Dante DiVincenzo and Julius Randle. Better, worse, what do we think? Um, Hard to say. I I mean, personally, I think they got worse. I think Towns is is a skill set, something Mm -hmm. different. Like, I mean, he can shoot threes, he plays pretty solid defense. Um, And (laughs) Randle... To me, that is, doesn't you know he doesn't he does similar things but not as good as Cat. Yeah. So, uh DiVincenzo I think this, honestly, I think DiVincenzo is a very underrated pickup, um, especially given the fact that they lost Kyle Anderson, um, Julius Randle with Gobert. It just sucks spacing wise, and it's, I feel like it's going to hinder hinder Anthony Edwards' slashing ability. But um, I think their plan is to probably not have Gobert and Randall on the floor as much as they can at the same time. Yeah, no, no, I, I think so. Um, and I, I'm even questioning if they're going to start Randall. I, I've been hearing they want Nas Reed in that starting lineup instead and having Randall off the bench, which I don't know how he's going to take. I, I think that's the best case. Yeah, if Randall can take that role, I think that's the best case. If Randall takes the, that role off the bench, is he probably a lock for six man of the year? Yep. If he like, if he does it and like all in on it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can I say agree. that too. I think so. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I see why they did it. They had to do it because of the whole new CBA, and they paid Cat too much money. If they want to keep Nasri, they had to let him go. But. This is probably, with your hands tied, this is probably the best case scenario for the Wolves. Moving on to New York. This is probably the craziest. Um, Hart and Stein gone. DiVincenzo gone. Julius Randle gone. Resigned OG Ananobi. Jalen Brunson signs a contract, which is basically, over the span of it, a $100 million discount. Um... They added Mikhail Bridges and Carl Anthony Towns. Are ne- are they the beast in the East? Not the beast. I, I think no one can beat the Celtics. But I think they're second, actually. Yeah. I mean, are they a close me, second? Yeah, I, uh, close second. I'm just thinking matchup wise. I mean, you got Drew versus Jalen. I guess it would be Josh Hart versus um, Derek White. I think. They got Mikael Bridges now, right? Mikael Bridges mm-hmm. and OG versus Jalen and Jason Tatum. And then um, who's their center right now? Oh, Cat. They have Cat. And yeah. then they have... Uh, Mitchell Robinson's probably going to get traded. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson. He is? That's the rumors that they're looking to trade him. Oh, wait, that's right. Yeah, Lakers just trying to get that. Or I, I want... think matchup-wise, it's pretty fair, honestly. Yeah. So, I mean... I want to say... Knicks definitely have the advantage when it comes to star power, like the star elite talent, but the supporting cast 
Celtics just blow them out of the water. With yeah. Drew, Derek White, Peyton Pritchard, all those people, Kristaps Porzingis. I don't, I, I don't. I think the supporting cast is way better for the Celtics. Um, star talent definitely Knicks. Like Brunson, Cat. Brunson, Cat. I, 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 I honestly, Bridges. I would take Brunson over all all of the players on the Boston. I would take Brunson over them. I love Brunson. Over, mm, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's I a, he's that. he's kind of crazy. <laughs> I love Brunson too. I don't think I'll do with that. I think he, in the playoffs, I think I would take him would, over all of those players. It's a, I would say <laughs> I would say it's a toss up between Jalen Tatum and Brunson. I think I'm Jaylen, taking those. Dang. I'm taking those two guys over. Like I'm taking those two guys over Brunson all day. I love Dang. Brunson. Too. I think his effect is Brunson. different. In the, like he's different. He's like yeah. He's he's fire though. I'm trying he's to think fire. of a player like they just do he's good like, in the playoffs. Like, like Jimmy, they, right? they like he's like them. playoff yeah, Rondo, like bro. Jimmy. Playoff yeah, Rondo, like Jimmy up. Butler. Yeah, like yeah. The, that's facts. That's facts. Like in the regular season, uh, give me Tatum, uh, Brown. Yeah. they're probably well. I don't know about Brown, but Tatum for sure better. But in the yeah. playoffs, like Brunson's that guy. He, he just somehow like figures it out. Brunson does it. Yeah, I think he, he just got injured. Defense. He got injured last in the playoffs. I think. And it's it's gonna be an interesting. Uh, I love. See Brunson which too. which side Hold lets on. up first. We have. Oh, Mikal Bridges, who has never, I don't think he's ever missed an NBA game, right? Yeah, he's played every game. And then we have the coach, Tom Thibodeau, who is notoriously known for overworking his players to the point of injury. Which is he going to break first? I think, um, I feel like the Knicks are deep enough where, like, Tib isn't going to be playing players more than, like, yeah. he really shouldn't be. I don't think I don't think I think the team is deep enough where he doesn't have to do that. Yeah, but we'll see. I guess I don't know. I think I feel I don't know. Are they starting Bridges? Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Okay. I think it's I think it's uh, Brunson, uh, Bridges, Brunson, Bridges, Cat. Who else? Uh, I don't know. Be his heart. Oh, OG and Hart. Is Hart starting? I don't know if he starts. I feel like I'm missing someone. No, they got rid of DiVincenzo. Who's going to be like their shooting guard? On the Knicks? Oh. Josh Hart? Yeah. Oh, so it's Hart. Yeah. And who's I guess, the yeah. Or who's, off, who's coming off the bench again for the Knicks? I have no. I honestly don't know. I don't really think they have bench presence that's what i'm saying that's why the supporting <laughs> cast of the celtics really kind of wipes them out no the celtics they, just they never crazy lost their team. bench because they have so many stars they lost quickly right they lost quickly he's on the raptors yeah so i'm, I'm looking at yeah up. they have no they don't they don't have anyone <laughs> yeah they, actually, right, well, so, they have cameron Payne. so oh, oh god Payne. yeah yeah honestly before Knicks are dope. Getting cat is really big for them. Um, they're probably gonna get like fourth seed. Fourth seed. They're gonna lose in the second fourth round. seed. Wait, yeah, like what seed? Seeds. Weren't they like uh fourth seed this fourth or fifth? Right, this yeah, off season. In other words, they'll be the same. Be the I'm gonna I'm gonna say and hot they'll take. Bounced. They'll get bounced in the second. First round. seed gonna be the Celtics. Second seed is gonna be the Knicks. Yeah, no, you I can so? see that. I think so. Honestly, yeah. I feel like over the Bucks. Um, no, nah, I don't think Bucks. The Bucks. I, I want to say the Bucks aren't are not going to impress anyone this year. I think Bucks. Do you think are they're going to go under radar to the playoffs like that? I think they're going to be just, mid. Like, Bucks out. I I honestly don't know. I I'm not fully bought into the Dame and Giannis duo. Really? Yeah. And Doc Rivers being Actually, that I coach. I don't think they are either. <laughs> I mean, uh, what's his name? Um, yeah. Chris Middleton is not that good either. So. Yeah, like he's not. Dude, as that good guy, as poor guy. He's injured, so that guy's just injury ridden. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll be an interesting East. So let's move on to the main priority team here: the Los Angeles Lakers. Basically, lost Prince Spencer Dinwiddie, and basically replaced that with Dalton Connect. Better. They're better. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really care for Prince. He was kind of up and down, but. I'm hoping Dalton Connect surprises me. 
I think it's the I hope coach he wins the coach is the rookie of the year. If JJ Redick actually knows what he's doing, this might be a really good team. I think um, as constructed, they're going to be a top six team. If, if, top six. If um, Rui, D'Lo, and Austin Reeves can, mm-hmm. you know, take sort of a leap. I mean, really the one that I could see taking the biggest leap is Reeves. Just he's, he's only his, I think it's his fourth season. Or fifth, the fourth, fifth season. Four, yeah. four seasons, I think. So, um, but I still think they could win a ring, and I, I, I think they could still win it all. They just have to get into the playoffs and possibly not. You know, it, it's always matchups. Yeah, so, I all think matchups, all matchups. I think you're right. I feel like for them to be a, to win the championship, they would have to have what. JJ Reddick has been saying that Rui becomes a three corner guy and a really good offensive rebounder. Uh, D'Lo has a career year. Austin Reeves makes a huge leap. Max Christie is very good looking. Um, He's handsome. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, was like, <laughs> um, I think like all those things have to happen. I think. Okay, I on. think Jared. <laughs> I think I think Jared Vanderbilt has to stay healthy and be the defensive menace he is, and Gabe Vincent just needs to do something other than sit down and watch games. I think um, I think yeah. After the changes, new coach, the players, whatever, the rookie, Bronny. I think um, I think we're definitely a play-in team, <laughs> and we do have a chance at the title as long as we dodge the Nuggets. I'm a firm yeah. believer. I find I find that so I weird that we can we are like probably the only team that can be very low in the playoffs but be extremely dangerous. Yeah, like no one wants to play us I mean, except LeBron James. Yeah, yeah LeBron, yeah. James. <laughs> LeBron, AD. I honestly, yeah, like we could beat any team. Yeah, except the Nuggets. I don't know why. But <laughs> Even, I, well, okay, maybe I this year like if they lost KCP, Russ sabotaging though, them. They lost KCP. If Jamal is off, I mean, like, we would have won, obviously, it's a if, if, but if, but, like, Jamal didn't hit game winners on us, like, two games. Okay, that's right. I think we could have beat the Nuggets. Yeah, really. yeah. Realistically, um, yeah, man. Our, <laughs> I think know, man. this our year is our chance to get past the Nuggets. I oh, think Russell tough. Westbrook is going to mess them up. You think? Playoff you think so? time. I think he yes. so. Yeah. Honestly, they might have issues with him, like, mid-season. Because, mm-hmm. he, you know, he, I think, yeah, he's really not used to not having the ball in his hand. For what? Yeah. That's the thing. I think if, if he could figure it out. Okay, so so if the Nuggets, like, they're playing through Jokic, right? Yeah. There's a world where they'll figure it out. Because Mike Malone's, or whatever his name is, the coach. Sick Mark coach. Malone? Mike Malone? I don't know. Yeah. I forgot. Something I, Malone. I don't like that guy. He's a sick coach. He talks. I think, he talks. I think there's a chance that. Like I'm very optimistic actually on the Nuggets. I think they're I think they'll oh, be okay. Oh gosh. We got I'm a Nuggets optimistic. fan on our hands. Yeah, I think they could do fan, it. A Nuggets fan. I think they could do it. <laughs> bro, just say like, you hate Bron, bro. Just they, say... <laughs> like in a world, okay, so like how they beat us and cooked us. Like and they made some crazy shots. But like they always beat us back door. If you just replace that with Russ, yeah. It's like the same thing but worse. Like Russ is just faster. And he could just like know. jam. I don't know. I gotta know. That's what I think. Well, I think they, they lost. I honestly, I, I'm i saying, I'm gone. kind of repeating myself because I said the same exact yeah. thing last year. Losing Bruce Brown was big for them. Obviously, oh, yeah, it had big. no effect was... on us. Yeah. I think the same thing with KCP. It's probably going to have no effect on us again, but we will see. They also did lose <laughs> Reggie Jackson. Nah, he's a Laker killer. That was a Laker and killer. Also, Michael Porter Jr. in lose. the playoffs was like legit. Like laser. He was on fire against us. Lasering, and then, uh, yeah, he made like every that single three. That guy did not miss from three. It and then like gross. the rest of the playoffs, was he gross. was just ridiculously bad. <laughs> they just really <laughs> hate the Lakers, bro. Like they just turn it up. They elevated yeah. their play against the Lakers and then they played the yeah. Timberwolves. And At was, you know, dances all over them, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was actually insane. That was all insane. right. That was so... Who won the offseason? Mm. 
Uh, like who got the game? Who got way better? Or yeah, like who who has the most difference? Who put them in the best position to go for a championship? I guess you would, uh, you could say. I mean, I think OKC is definitely up there. I think yeah, Philly I would agree got better. That. Obviously, I I would I would give the Knicks. It, it to the Knicks over Philly. Knicks, to be honest, Knicks, Knicks are definitely better as well. Specifically because I think Jalen Brunson taking that massive discount was probably the biggest thing for them. Like that. Yeah, was... no, 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 definitely. I think Knicks is the. I think Knicks is the best just because of that. Yeah. I think he they were able to afford upgrading to get Bridges and Cat. Like that's kind of insane. So yeah. I think yeah, out of the ones, yeah, I think Knicks are the only ones that exactly. have a chance to make it to the finals. I don't think OKC I, can make it to the finals still. Now, I do like the Philly moves though. I hope it ages well. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the moves. Philly really upgraded the roster. Yeah. I just need it to gel. Um, but I think Knicks definitely they made great moves, and OKC <laughs> didn't do much, but the moves they did. Had a big impact, in my opinion. Yeah, no, definitely. Who is the biggest losers? And not saying by people who lost their star players because they did get draft compensation, so we couldn't, we can't really include like the Brooklyn Nets in this, right? I'm talking about people who did not do anything to improve their team, no moves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if we're talking about Who's zero the biggest... moves, it gotta be the Lakers, right? There's also another team that made pretty much no moves and actually lost players to the point where their star player may think about leaving. Do you know who it is? The Bulls? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, the, the Bulls, yeah, obviously. They're, they lost to Rosen and Zach Levine's going to want out and Dusevich probably going to move. Yeah. But it's the Miami Heat. They oh, did yeah, nothing. that's true. They... I mean, they yeah, lost they Caleb Martin. They didn't get anyone. Jimmy Butler and Jerry Jerry. No, was it Pat Riley or Budding Bam. Heads? Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, I don't think Miami was ever. I mean, they made the finals though, so I guess they were. But I felt yeah. like they always made the finals because some random guard on their team was playing good at the right time. Yeah. Like they had. Um... And then the Lakers signed them, and they became. <laughs> Booty. They literally had Gabe Vincent as like their third option yeah. in that season there to the finals. So like two just not yeah. I think it was last season. Or yeah. Not last season, two seasons ago. So Yeah. But basically I think how the beginning of this season pans out will decide if Jimmy wants to leave or not. Yeah, I mean I could see him leaving, but I think uh Miami he... Yeah, I'm not sure what they're... I don't know if they're trying to build around Bam or... I'm not sure. Because to me, I don't know about what you guys think, but like Bam, to me, is not really a star you can build a championship to. No. he. I definitely feel like he is a pivotal piece you need. Yeah. But he's not He's not the first or second option. Yeah, he's like a Drew Holiday, to be honest. Like, yeah. Like that type of role, like he's going to be really good in, but not like... Yeah, I mean, he can't consistently as far as i know he can't really drop like 25 consistently a game yeah he'll, you know but he's solid he's, he's really good so but. well well guys this episode has been going on longer than we expected we did have more topics to discuss but we'll save them for the next because they don't they don't really uh fit with the uh off season you could say it's just future moves that could possibly mm -hmm. happen. Um, dark horse trade targets and then five trade target predictions from an article that we found and some news about Zion. That's basically what we'll discuss probably next episode. If we have time after the fantasy draft recap, if not, probably episode three. But before we go, we're going to play the guess the card game. Uh, so it's a Laker card, obviously. Who is the player? You each get to ask three questions and guess two times. Okay. So who wants to ask first? 
Uh, VJ, go uh, ahead. Okay, all right. Three <laughs> questions, each of us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. each of us. Okay, uh, okay. Um, all right, so I would, I would ask two questions first, take a guess. I would have both of you ask two questions and then each take a guess and then one final question and then take your final guess. And we know for sure so it's a Laker player. It's a Laker at some point. Okay, at some point. Um, is he a... Uh... Dang, so we only have th three questions each. I, got, I probably should make it specific. Um, did he win a ring with the Lakers? No. All right, well, that's, that's tough, man. Okay, well, uh... what, what year was he on the Lakers? Okay, I believe it was 2010 to 2012. Okay. So the year after they won their second ring. After they won the second ring. Mm -hmm. And he didn't win a ring with the league. Okay, he didn't win a ring. Okay. All so, I don't think he was ever an all-star. I could be wrong, maybe in his earlier career, but he wasn't an all-star, I don't believe. Okay. The, as a Laker, no. That's two questions from me. Did he have a beef so, with Kobe? He did. Okay. I think he, you you might know who it is know based on that but, question. Yeah, I can. Uh... <laughs> do you want to take a, you want to take your first guess? No, no, let's ask it. Or do you want let's you want you want? Let's ask you... it to. Uh, we have one more question each, right? Yeah, go ahead. So go ahead. One more question each. All right, BJ. And we have two guesses. I guess we. Uh, have we'll have you for the first one. We'll have you each do one okay. guess. Oh, we only have one guess. Okay. They only have one guess, and we have to ask another question. So right now, you know he played from 2010 to 2012. He's not an all-star. He did not win the ring, and he had beef with Kobe. I, already, I think I know who it is, too. But I think I'll, I'll ask more questions. Is he a guard? I would say he's a forward. Okay, I don't know anymore. Uh, now I have to think. I, you could Kobe. possibly consider him to be a guard, but I would say he's more of a forward. Beef with Kobe? You know it, Brandon? I think I know I'm, it. I'm did, he have, uh, did he have beef with Derek Fisher? Yeah, he <laughs> did have beef with Derek Fisher. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just remembered that now. <laughs> he knows it. Wait, but he... Wait, but he had... Okay, he didn't I, win I a ring with know the All right, his beef with Derek Fisher wasn't when he was on the Lakers. I think Derek Fisher had already retired at that point. Yeah. He's... It was as his, I think it was when he was the head coach of the Knicks. Yeah, when Fisher was, <laughs> I uh, I already know. All right, so I'm pretty sure Brandon knows yeah, it. Know. So VJ, what's your guess? It's got to be Mr. Matt Barnes. Yeah. Was that your guess, Brandon? Yeah, yeah there. It's Matt Barnes, yeah, yeah. maybe. Matt Barnes, yeah. <laughs> Damn. I was like, at first, I was gonna say Jeremy Lin because I was trying to think no of like, it's a memorable, not memorable, but like you know, player on the like, team because that team, yeah, literally was kind of bad, low key. Like we had, uh, yeah, I don't even remember their that, names. Did anymore. we have Dwight already? No, they didn't have Dwight yet. That was before Dwight. That was a season with Bynum yeah. and um, you know, Bynum, Gasol, Kobe, Meta. Like the year after we won, they right? didn't even have Jordan Farmer. I don't think anymore. Like it was past. Yeah. That. So, wait, are you sure? Wait, Bar so Barnes didn't win a championship with us. I thought he did. I thought he did. No, he didn't. But he I did. looked it up. He only won he with the Warriors. He joined after in 2017. The year after they won the championship. Damn, yeah. I thought he did. I thought he was on that team for some reason. All right, yeah, no, he only won right. a championship with the Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Like, but Kobe, if you guys, yeah. if you guys would have asked questions. your uh, three questions and you weren't even close, I was gonna give you guys a hint. The hint was pump fake. Pump fake. Like because that whole Kobe didn't flinch when yeah, he pump yeah, faked. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. No, yeah, like there's, yeah, there's only very few memorable players on that team post championship. So I'm like, I think it might be Matt Barr. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought. So Derek Fisher made it get us yeah, the, the dead giveaway. I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's that's it. Dude, it's I over. forgot that happened, but that's actually hilarious. I forgot about that. I was that. like, yeah. No, nah, once he said the Kobe, I was like, okay, yeah, I got to be him because the pump fake thing. Was, yeah. That was good. All right. Well, that includes our very first episode of the Heat Check podcast. We hope you enjoyed. I know this was longer than we expected. It's about an hour and a half long. We're trying to keep these about 45 minutes long for you guys. So sorry about that. We had a lot to cover. 
It's our first episode. We didn't know we talked so much. But yeah, we're still learning. We're going to get better. But I want to thank you guys for sticking with us if you made it all this way this far. I've been Nick. This season, these are my co-hosts, Vijay, Brandon. We are the Heat Check Podcast, and we'll catch you next week when we talk about our fantasy draft. All right. Peace. See you guys.